Secretary repeatedly refused to answer questions today about what exactly she'd asked civil servants to do on her behalf when she was caught speeding last summer. Did you ask civil servants to put you on a one-on-one -on -one speeding course? In relation to the process, I'm focused on delivering for the British people, do my job would as you, Secretary. Would you what I will say is that, in my view, I'm confident that nothing untoward has happened. Would you welcome an investigation? into this. Have you spoken to the Prime Minister? Would you welcome one? As I said, I'm focused on working as Home Secretary, that's why I'm here. Are you going to resign, Home Secretary? After a Downing Street meeting on small boats today, the Prime Minister did speak to Suella Braverman about the allegations in some detail for 20 minutes or so. He's also spoken to the number 10 ethics advisor, Sir Laurie Magnus, who would conduct any investigation. The Prime Minister's independent ethics advisor needs to have a look at this just to establish what did go on uh, from the look of it and we don't know everything yet it does look to me like this is a matter of poor judgment some of the facts aren't disputed back in september last year when liz truss appointed suella braverman home secretary miss braverman brought up with her Home Office officials the fact that she had a speed awareness course coming up quite soon in her diary because of a speeding offence in June last year when she was Attorney General. Could they, the Home Office officials, perhaps convert it into a personal, more private one-on-one -on -one speed awareness session? The civil servants consulted the Cabinet Office and came back and said, no, it's a private matter for you to deal with. The Sunday Times says that Suella Braverman's special advisor then made repeated... Suella Braverman coughed out her predicaments over speed fines and standard points as she fights to secure her position. The Home Secretary is contending to prevent Home Office from firing her after accusations. She requested officers to observe if she might undertake a secluded speed consciousness program after being snapped by the cams over speeding previous summertime. Swella Braverman has maintained, and I quote, nothing untoward happened in the row over her speeding ticket, but claims she regrets flouting the speed threshold. She has since recognized the penalization points on her driver's license and paid the ticket. Mrs. Braverman did not refute asking public officials to register her on a secret speed awareness course when questioned by journalists today. Pushed persistently, she claimed, and I quote, in relation to the process, I'm focused on delivering for the British people, doing my job as Home Secretary and what I will say is that, in my view, I'm confident that nothing untoward has happened. Mocked the rings they claimed they were running around Rishi Sunak. The Prime Minister is clearly too weak to sort this out. Well, if the Home Secretary cannot get a grip of her own rule-breaking behaviour, how can she get a grip on anything else? Yes. Mr Speaker, some gentle advice for the right hon. lady. The person who needs to get a grip here is the Shadow Home Secretary and the Labour Party because they have wholly failed to represent the priorities of the British people. I think there is a broader campaign within Whitehall to try and discredit uh, the Home Secretary, to try and get her to be re resign or to be removed uh, because uh, some people don't like uh, the policies that she is pursuing in the Home Office. Tonight, the Prime Minister is said to be still availing himself of information about Suella Braverman's conduct before deciding if it merits an investigation. Well, joining me now is Lord Kerslake, who was head of the Home Civil Service and is now a crossbench peer in the House of Lords. Um, thanks for joining us. What rule might she have broken? Well, she's uh, potentially broken the rule around uh, effectively involving civil servants in dealing with what is a personal matter. That's a very clear demarcation that exists, that you should not use civil servants to undertake work that really is for you to sort out as an individual private citizen. And we've had a lot of toing and froing today on this issue, but the fundamental question is not, did she break the speed, speeding level, and did she get a fine? We know that. Yeah. The issue is, did she try and get a private offer? Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all.
Please support MCAD TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.